Hello, everybody. This is Sky from Epic Time 99 here. Now, um, I'd like to bring something to your attention. A while ago, I started a series. It was called Sky Reads, where I was supposed to read fan fiction. Now, um, if you check my videos, you know that, um, I read one story, and I stopped. Why? Well, I don't know, because I had other stuff to do. But I would like to let you guys know that I'm going to keep doing that series. It's going to continue, yes. But think of it more as a comeback. Because just like I did with Final Fantasy and with my one video of Silent Hill playing, uh, I'm starting to do videos again, and I even did a singing video just for the kicks of it that I did for like, in like two hours of just practicing. Now, uh, I, I, so yes, this is a uh, Sky Reads video, but as my comeback, it's not going to be the same as the other ones. There's a fan fiction that has come to my attention. A fan fiction that, for lack of better words, is horrible. It is, it is awful. It is not my immortal. I know what you're thinking. It is not my immortal. Now, Sky, you say? How can you think of a horrible fanfiction and not think about My Immortal? Because, to put it simply, there is one fanfiction that I believe is worse. You heard me right. A fanfiction that is worse than My Immortal supposedly stated as being the worst fanfiction ever created. Now, um, have any of you read a series called Warriors, or as known by its fan, not by its fans, not to get uh, confused with Samurai Warriors, that Warriors movie in like the 80s or 90s, or just Ninja Warriors, or Ultimate Ninja Warriors, or I don't know, psh, Knights? The fans call them Warrior Cats. Now, uh, if you don't know what this Warrior Cats series is, it is a series of books, fantasy young adult books, about cats. And these cats live in the wild. And they live fairly, which it just explains what the word wild means. And these cats are, are uh, living and they're doing stuff. But basically, this fiction is a fan fiction of this series. If you've ever read it, cool. If not, well, eh, you're missing out. Um, I'm going to explain what makes the Warrior series so good before I start reading this fan fiction because you need to understand why this fan fiction is so awful. Okay? Okay. Now, the Warrior series is a beloved series of young adult books. Now, you might think, wait, they're for children. Because it's scholastic and stuff. No. See, in my opinion, it's young adult. Because, let's face it, if you've ever read the series, it gets pretty heavy. It gets dark. It, it It's really gruesome by book six of series one. This series is like the borderline between children's and young adult literature. Think of, like, Twilight. How Twilight is young adult. But let's face it, they don't really deal with anything very adultish in the series other than pregnancy. Uh, which is why it's kind of, it's young adult, and why so many people are attracted to this series, because it's, it's accessible to a lot of people, because it's not morally bad, it's not, it's not heavy, it's not super dark or anything. Same thing with Warriors, it's like that middle ground, it's, it's to the point where there are complex characters and situations, and it's a long-running series where you have to remember things, and uh, people who read have to remember certain details, and there's gruesome battles gruesome battles like freaking intestines falling out and crap it's disgusting <laughs> uh, but it's like the borderline like nothing's too dark nothing's too complex but there's enough in there that i believe it to be a young adult series not children's the first it's like the first three harry potter books the first three harry potter books those are children's books four five six and seven i think are more young adult ter territory because not only has harry grown but the subject matter is different everything's a lot bigger and more complex and darker and i just think that the f last four books are for young adults because 
that's just kind of how it is. That's how I see it. Now, you have to understand this, uh, a few things, before I read this fan fiction. These cats in the Warrior Book series, beloved series, once again, that has millions of fans all over the world. Heck, it's so popular that, like The Hunger Games, like Twilight, like Harry Potter, like these other series, even like, like Naruto and manga and anime that have these devoted followings of millions of people who will just go on websites and just talk about their favorite things about the series, and it has a devoted following, because of that, it's it's just, to write something so bad is a crime against humanity itself. You might be thinking, shit can't be that bad, it's worse than my immortal, like I said earlier, it's worse, it's so much worse, because unlike, unlike my immortal, where you had a character and the author had no idea what they were doing at all. This fiction kind of, the author kind of has an idea of what they're talking about. Kind of. I'm using that very loosely because they have no idea what they're talking about. Because, let me explain what warriors are. Warriors are a group of cats who live in a forest. They're divided into four clans. Thunder Clan, River Clan, Wind Clan, and Shadow Clan. Each clan has different territories, but they all kind of border each other. They all live under like a religion uh, for a fifth clan that they believe in, known as Star Clan, made up of their ancestors and their relatives. And th all four clans are connected, even though all four clans kind of hate each other. They they all believe in one thing. It's like a a, a tri like four tribes who all believe in the same thing, but have different social political and personal beliefs of how they live how where they live what they do what they eat and what they believe in and how they're built physically it's really cool um but um the series likes to revolve around characters and drama and prophecies similar to like what harry potter's three morals i believe are are friendship um self-conflict and overcoming that and being yourself in a sense the three morals i believe that are very present in all of the warrior series are destiny prophecies and um living to be all you can be not necessarily being like live life to the fullest but doing what you must in the best way you possibly can because the series likes to do prophecies. In the back of several of the books, there's a quote that is usually a prophecy from the book, and the prophecies are given to cats by Star Clan, and these these prophecies will always come true, no matter what. It may be unexpected. It might It might be at the very end of a certain cat's life, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, to a certain person who may have read the series. But the point is that these prophecies will always come true, no matter what. I would have liked in the series, even though I don't know if the series is going on still or not, I don't think it is, uh, to have an instance where the, the prophecy does not come true, and the characters, like, the prophecy completely derails, and Star Clan's like, oh crap. But the thing about the prophecies is that they always come true, and the worst part is a lot of the prophecies have bad things happen to good cats. And there are destinies that cats are described in that are like prescribed every cat has a uh, predetermined destiny that they must follow but some cats will make a decision that will affect that destiny so the prophecies are kind of like we're going to give this prophecy to you but we don't know if it's going to work or not if good things are going to happen to you if bad things are going to happen to you or you might stray off the path of goodness of what we what what star clan is all about and that's your choice it's it's the whole uh, you have a predestined fate, but you can choose to deviate off that path if you must. But if you don't, usually you're you're in good hands because you'll go to Star Clan, which is basically heaven, and you'll be part of Star Clan forever and yay happiness. I would have liked to have seen you know when something goes wrong, but the the prophecies always come true, and the cats are like we can't do anything about it, even if bad things happen. We're sorry. It's that's just how it is. That's a cool aspect, though, how they're literally, the, the ancestors are always there, they're watching, they're, they're up watching the other clans, and they're, they're talking to them. They can come down in visions, in dreams, even in, in real life, like, freaking, I don't know, uh, 
uh, well, what's that one series? There's a series where, like, character has hallucinations. Like, I don't know, freaking Silent Hill or something. I don't know. That that the cats will just come and be like, hey, what's up? I got something to talk to you about. And it's so cool. The different clans and the cast themselves are cool. And why do I bring this up? Because you need to know this stuff before going into this horrible, 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 horrible fan fiction. Because I love this series so much. It was my childhood. Uh, it was everything to me, essentially. Uh, I loved it more than Harry Potter, in a sense, in a few ways, here or there. Um, because it was so cool and so new and awesome. But the reason I bring this up is because this fanfiction, the author seems to kind of have a grasp on certain things. Like this person that wrote this fanfiction called Star Kit's Prophecy. Yeah, Star Kit. A uh, new character, original character. Insert fic. Yeah, self-insert. Mary Sue. They seem to know what they what they were doing like as far as you know oh this is star clan this is thunder clan which is good because unlike in my immortal they knew nothing about anything because they're just like uh oh, um i have names here and locations i'm just going to put them in my little um fiction and just go with it this person seemed to know what they were kind of doing uh, except they didn't at the same time it's it's weird where my immortal would take characters' names and just have them in name, they change their names. Only come on, you change Harry Potter's name to Vampire, really? Why? Or Snape is now Snap and Dumbledore and and Lupin. Um, this that person from my immortal knew nothing. This person tries to kind of know something, but they don't. Where my immortal was bad from the get go, but got gradually worse. This fan fiction is worse, is horrible, from the very beginning, from the first set, from no, 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 from the very first line, like chapter one. They get wrong saying chapter one, typing chapter one, O N E, or the 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 number one. They get that wrong. At least My Immortal got steadily worse and worse, if that was even possible. This fanfiction is just so... It is a... Ugh, I haven't even read all of it, because guess what? It's actually a finished fanfiction. It's finished. It's completely finished. The story is complete. The prophecy is done. The character is finished. And it's, it's, it's mind-blowing. That's really... It's mind-blowing. Um, but there's one thing I want you guys to, to realize... Before I start reading this fiction, this kind of long fiction, um, there are two things you must know about the author. More like three or more. There, there's, there, there's these things you need to know about the author that wrote this before diving in. Whereas the My Immortal author would always put, Draco and Harry can get together if they want, because being gay is okay. Okay, she had a really dumb way of... Uh, defending homosexuality and things like that and her personal beliefs and her friends uh, and she's like you know if you don't like it then go fuck off and stuff uh, this author is kind of the same but the opposite this author is also a girl I'm presuming she's in junior high or high school and and she's a Christian who loves Jesus and God and hates 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 Hates, 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 hates homosexuality. You must understand that before going in. D I cannot describe enough. She despises homosexuality, thinks lesbians and gays and bisexuals and transsexuals will all go to hell because they're evil, evil, evil people. Remember that. She thinks anyone who is somewhat homosexual at all is evil. Completely going to hell, burning forever in damnation. Because that's important. I'm not kidding you, that's actually important. Remember the author's notes. And really, that's all I have to say. Star Kit's Prophecy, a fanfiction worse, in my opinion, than My Immortal. Why am I reading it? Because I can. Well, I can't say anything more. So let's dive into this piece of garbage that shits on my entire thing. My, 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 my love as my childhood of books. Let's read... Starkit's Prophecy.
This is Sky from Epic Time 99, signing off.